seven days after his death. Thus Maharaj Pariksha exemplified Shravanam. Deva, the son of Vyasadeva, recited transcendental stories of Krishna and his devotees, the composition of which is known as Amala Bhagavata Purana. For seven days and nights, for the benefit of King Parikshit, sages, and the whole world. Thus, Shukadeva Goswami exemplified Kirtana.
Prithu Maharaj, the powerful and righteous king, for the pleasure of Lord Krishna, worship their lordships in the deity form, protected the people and performed prescribed sacrifices. Thus, Prithu Maharaj exemplified Archana. Kamsa, the maternal uncle of Lord Krishna, asked Akrura to bring Lord Krishna to Mathura. Akrura offered obeisances, seeing the footprints of Lord Krishna, and respectfully remembered him throughout the journey from Mathura to Vrindavan. Thus, Akrura exemplified Vandana. Hanuman, the greatest devotee of Lord Drama, the best of the Vanaras, he surrendered to the Lord as his servant. He used all his capabilities and strength to serve Lord Drama. Thus, Hanuman exemplified Dasyam. Arjuna, the great archer and warrior among the Pandavas, was a dear friend of Lord Krishna and could engage Krishna as his own charioteer. He received the Bhagavad Gita Upadesha directly from the Lord himself. Thus, Arjuna exemplified Sakya. Ali Maharaj, the grandson of Prahlad, offered his entire kingdom and himself to Lord Vamana without any motive, just to keep up his promise to the Lord. Thus, Bali exemplified Atma Nivedanam. Sri Prahlad. 